Hi there. So in this video, we're going to see how to create SQLite database in Android. So what we're going to do is we're going to create one example here and simply going to create database, add one entry and display the results in logcat. So I'm not going to use app here. So I'm just going to sh show you example of how to create database and add one entry there. Okay, in next few tutorials, you'll see how to create database and then display the results in our app. Okay, so this video is only for showing you example of how to create database and get entry visible in Logcat. Okay, so open your sample app, then go to main activity Java and inside your protected void on create we are going to create instance of sql sqlite database so we have to find that okay so here is sqlite database db equals to open or create so let me get that open or create database and here i'm going to name my database as my db okay the next thing we will use mode as private so let's find that mode private and third parameter as null okay now that we have created the database with name db next thing is to create a table in it so we use db and then execute sql okay now here what we're going to do is we're going to use our sql command create table so use create table if not exist and then name your table let's say my table and inside bracket you are going to add let's say name varkar and then age as integer 3 okay so that's your query here and outside that we are just going to use semicolon and then end this as well so we have our query ready so we created one table next thing is to insert some data in it so another sql query insert into my table and values for that we will use bracket and then i'm going to add re as var care okay and then we will use one integer let's say age 27 Okay, make sure that it's single code because if you use double code then considering this is varchar will throw an error okay so next thing we will use db dot close okay so if we use that we'll be able to close the access to this database now what we want to do here is to first get the content from database so before this line we will add cursor as this cursor object allow us to navigate through database so cursor c or you can use cursor cursor equals to db dot raw query and here 
I'm going to use SQL query again select star and you can use capital as well select star from my table and then next parameter to be null okay and then we use cursor object and tell it to move to first so first entry is what we want and then I'm going to call log D and here I want to find out my first entry which is array and then call for cursor dot get string and inside that I'm gonna call cursor dot get column indexed and here I want to point out array so it should get me that detail okay so we have created our database then we are executing a SQL command for table creation and then we are setting data into it and then finally viewing that data with cursor query and then moving to first entry within database and then displaying that entry with our log get log dot d method okay and finally closing our database connection you can add multiple entries here if you want okay so it's not like you can only use one you can choose to add as many as you want Okay, before we execute, do note that we have to change this to find name instead of finding the entry. And now we can execute this in our app. Okay, it will run through Gradle and it will try to find that entry. Okay, so. As you can see our app is loaded and we have to see the debug entry which is array array okay so as you can see we asked for first entry within our database and we got it so you get the idea of how to create a database then how to put table into it and then insert value and then calling for that values and getting those values through logcat okay in next few videos we will see how to get these values in your android app and display the content that you want to display to the user